the focal length of a lens depends on the surrounding medium so for that one the materials needed are one is the double convex lens of known focal length the focal length of the lens already we found it is practical it is 10 centimeters next one cylindrical jar and the third one is the lens holder circular lens holder this is the lens holder okay next one the fourth one is the water and black stone see this one now after this one before starting the experiment i have taken a cylindrical jar i have taken a cylindrical jar actually i have to take one meter length cylindrical jar but it is not available so i have taken a cylindrical jar of 40 centimeters now i kept the black stone i kept the black stone inside the cylindrical jar okay i kept the black stone inside the cylindrical jar now see this i kept the lens in the circular lens holder see this i am trying to see the image of the black stone crystal clear image of the black stone see this one magnified image of the black stone come one has to come one come your one 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 come come you come anyone you, you please come don't waste you come siri you come now see this see you can see the image you can see this image see this one see you have to find the magnified image virtual image of the stone see this one virtual image can you see can you see the virtual image magnified image of the stone black stone is visible you you take it you the stone and the lens is what is the distance tell me it is when the distance between the stone and the lens is 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters 6 centimeters magnified image of the black stone is seen when the distance between the stone and the lens is less than 10 centimeters less than 10 centimeters so the distance between the stone and the lens lens is less than 10 centimeters less than 10 centimeters it means that when the object is kept in between pole and focus a virtual magnified image of the stone is formed are you clear about that one so what is the medium here nothing is there means what is the medium air is the medium air is the medium so at 8 centimeters you can see the magnified image at 6 centimeters also you can see the magnified image okay now what i am doing i am pouring the water into the cylindrical jar into the cylindrical jar now what i am doing again i am dipping the lens into the cylindrical jar okay in the beginning when the stone is in air what is its focal length less than 10 centimeters now what i am doing see i kept the lens i am dipping the lens you come magnified image of the stone is a magnified image of the stone is formed at see this one what is the distance what is the distance here reading no look carefully here it is more than 10 centimeters isn't it see this one okay the distance between the stone and the lens is how much 11 centimeters how much 11 centimeters now 
now you are able to see the image at more than 10 centimeters more than 10 centimeters a clear image virtual image magnified image is seen at longer distances that is greater than 10 centimeters 10 centimeters so the focal length has increased inside the water the focal length is increased inside the water so with this the focal length of a lens depends on the surrounding media are you clear about that one okay so when the object is kept the only principle you have to remember when the object is kept in between optic center and focus virtual image is formed so you are adjusting the position of the lens so that you can view the clear virtual image when it is in the air and when it is in also water when it is in air the clear image is seen virtual and magnified image is seen less than 10 centimeters next when water is there inside a cylindrical jar see the virtual image is formed at greater than 10 centimeters so with that we can say that we can say that the focal length depends on the surrounding medium okay are you clear about that one next